Hi everyone! I'm very excited because today I'm making pasta and I'm using Big Ben's Gourmet Adobo Longanisa. So come join me in the kitchen! For the pasta sauce, I'll be using some light olive oil, salt and pepper, shallots, dried parsley leaves, smoked Spanish paprika, tomatoes, and Big Ben's Gourmet Adobo Longanisa. So the first thing to do is to cook your imus longanisa. Well, the technique in cooking imus longanisa is that you don't fry it right away. You put it on a saucepan and uh, put some water and you let it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then you decide later on if you want to add some more oil. But look at that. There's oil coming from inside the longanisa. So as early as now, I can smell it already. It smells really good. The adobo, the garlic. Mm. I'll need to turn this longanisa in a little while. So I'm just, just gonna cover it. So there are three general classifications of longanisa. There's the derecado or the garlicky type, the jamonado or the sweet type, and the combined derecado and jamonado. Longanisa imus, specifically Big Ben's Gourmet Adobo Longanisa, is a delicado type. It's garlicky. And I like it. Okay, so longanisa is done cooking. I'm taking it out and transferring it to a small plate. You know, my dad used to cook this really well done, but since I'm using it for pasta, that's pretty good for me already. On a skillet, saute your shallots until they're a little transparent. Now add about half a teaspoon of smoked Spanish paprika. So this will add a little more flavor to our sauce. Up next, Add the tomatoes. So later on, you'd want to crush some of these tomatoes. So I've got open the longanisa and we're adding it to our mixture. So the garlicky flavor of this longanisa will combine with our smoked Spanish paprika and tomatoes and the sweetness of the shallot of course this smells really really good okay so now our mixture has dried up a bit remember that water we used to boil the longanisa so now it has some oil from the longanisa, we're gonna use that. We're gonna add that here. Now look at that rich color. I don't think I need to add some pasta water to this sauce. So now I've added a little salt and pepper, and I wanna add some dried parsley leaves to our mixture. Lastly, add your sauce to your wonderful plate of pasta. There you have it, 